Welcome everyone, Aldrima Harper here, business organizing strategist to solopreneurs, freelancers, and service-based entrepreneurs. Welcome everyone, Aldrima Harper here, business organizing strategist and declutter coach to solopreneurs, freelancers, and service providers. So welcome back to another episode of Podcasting on Purpose podcasting on purpose. I'm so excited. So today we want to talk a little bit about directories and websites, directories and websites, because this is going to help get a little bit more discoverability when, as we are talking about podcast directories, as well as podcast websites. And so let's kind of get into it. Okay. So what you want to do is you definitely want to submit your podcast to popular directories like Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts. These are the heavy hitters. And so when you host your podcast on one of the platforms, there are actually ways that they can be submitted automatically to those major podcasting platforms, as I mentioned, Apple Spotify, Google, those are the three heavy hitters. And so the other things that you want to do is you want to optimize the podcast description by using relevant words for better discoverability. You always want to do that no matter what kind of content you are creating. You want to make sure that the, there are relevant keywords for better discoverability. And then you want to leverage your existing networks and encourage like your friends, your family, listeners, coworkers, collaborators. Uh, you want to encourage them to rate and review your podcast. And so that actually shows your podcast to more people, thereby increasing the discoverability aspect of it. And then the next thing I wanted to talk about was podcast website. Now, you don't actually need a podcast website. You can use your own website to um, show that you have a podcast. But what you will do is you will embed it, the link from the hosting platform that you're using. Like I mentioned that I use Bcast and I also use Anchor. And each of those will, will allow you to embed the code into your website. Bcast actually does a really good job of that. And so I just take the embedded code and put it on my website. That way, if someone comes to my website, there's a link, a tab at the top of the website where it says, you know, Organizepreneur Podcast. And then they click on that and then they will see that this episode has been uploaded. So every time you have a new episode, it will show up on your webpage as well as the other directories. So you definitely want to make sure that you are doing something like that in order to increase your discoverability. And so you want to make sure that your contact information, your subscription options, all of these things are shown and displayed on those different platforms. So you want to also cross-reference, like on the, if you're using Anchor or if you're using Bcast the way I do, you want to make sure that you're cross-referencing your podcast on your website as well as your website on the podcast platform that you're using. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. This will help to increase your discoverability, your search engine, uh, search engine optimization and attract organic traffic. So hopefully this was helpful for you. I can't wait to see how you implement some of these strategies for your podcast. We'll talk to you soon on the next episode of podcasting on purpose.